<laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to present about FTK Imager uh, as a digital forensics tool. What is digital forensics? Digital forensics is science is a branch of forensic science that focuses on the recovery and investigation of material found in digital devices related to cybercrime. So with uh, access to data FTK Imager, uh, we can be able to create an image, uh, uh, a perfect copy of, uh, of a data disk, uh, and, and some of the main features and capabilities of access data FTK Imager are full disk forensic images, decrypting files and cracking passwords, pass registry files, locate, manage, and filter data, collect, process, and analyze data sets containing file systems. Uh, with, uh, with FTK image, I can be able to preview data and uh, also acquire uh, data from uh, logical disk or from logical disk or physical disk. So in the next presentation, uh, Yvonne is going to take us through uh, the practical presentation of how to use a FTK image in digital forensics. Thank you, Andrew, for the introduction on FTK image. So I'm going to take you through the, the practical part of uh, FTK, how to create an FTK image. So uh, first we need to install the FTK image uh, that, that will access data. Uh, so here I'm going to open the access data, this icon, is uh, the one that we are going to use to create an FTK image. So if you run this as an administrator, you open this and it, it comes uh, here. So this is the panel, which is this features. So to create an image, you, you click File. Then firstly, you create a disk image. So clicking here, uh, we choose the physical drive because we want to use uh, the USB as our drive. So the physical drive is the one that we are going to use. So the clicking next. So here, uh, it seems it gives me a, let me start again. Double click so create a disk image. Then you select physical drive. So here uh, we should select the drive that you want to use. So there's a USB drive connected. Then there's a computer drive. So we want to use the, this one, the yes, uh, USB drive. So choosing this one, then you click on finish. So here it was successfully selected. So we want to, to create a uh, image destination. So to create image destination, you click on N. Then uh, once, if you are using a physical data, we, we should continue using raw as our destination image type. Here we are, there's a, Everything, uh, item information. So this one will help us to identify the disk in future. If you want to set for the disk, so it's good to to input a uh, case number, a number, and everything that is required here for future uh, identification. So according to mine, I'm going to use case number uh, five uh, eleven. Two, then everything number, then three, a y, 
Christ living. For living, you will pay them the description. You can say, you can put any anything that you, you, you want. As long as you remember the, the, the description. So the examiner is Yvonne, right? I put Yvonne as the examiner. Then the notes, I am um, doing this for a while. For image, image, let's say image testing. Then I click next. So if you, to come to this page where it wants the, the image definition. So I had created an, an empty folder on my, my desktop here. It's on desktop titled Y and A. So I choose this as folder. You need to be careful to, to use the empty folder so that it will run well. It doesn't allow for a folder that has something inside. So I select my folder. This one. Yes. Okay. Then image timeline, any one that I want. So in this case, I can say why not. So those names are going to, to come to. I will show you where. Then here, I will maintain the, the image segment size to 1500. Uh, at the same time, I don't want to change anything. This is a default, but if you want to change the segment size, you can alter it to any size that you want. So for me, uh, we are going to maintain this. Then click on Finish. Then even down here, the verify images after they are created. Yes, I want to verify images after they are created, but I don't want to see calculate progress. But if you want, you can click. Then create directory listings of all files in the image after they are created. If you want to create that, but it depends with the fastness of your machine, the speed of your machine. Uh, it may take a little bit longer if you want to create the directory. So I'm going to skip this and maintain the verifying images after they are created. Then I will start. So now it's now creating an image. It will take a time depending on the with contents that are inside the USB port. So while it is uh, creating, if I open my, my folder, the one that I selected there, uh, you can see the already the file that I have named Y M A R E is now created. So it's, it's still creating images, dumping images uh, here in this folder. So we can wait while right? it's creating. So you need to remember the the the, the names that you have put from everything, uh, and how you rename your, your folder to to avoid confusion or to avoid mixing of of, of data. So let's wait for the progression. So it's now successfully created an image. So now it's verifying the image, the source drive, the one that I named Y M A R E.
So as you can see from the folder, we created, uh, these are the images that we created. So if I open the this text file, uh, as you can see, it is case information, case number, the evidence number that I uh, inputted before, the examiner is born, the notes, the description, the seeds for everything, for item source, all information, the drive, where it is recorded, trace by sense memory, SP, uh, image information, and the destination. So then we go to the PC, desktop, then the folder, this one, and uh, it's really showing that it is successfully created an image. So you can wait for it to verify. So uh, this is the, the result of the, the verification. We have uh, we completed the ASH report, uh, the, the bed block list. So if we go to uh, If we, if we close uh, this, then we need to to, to create a uh, amount image. So we go to style, then uh, image mounting. Once you want to mount the one that you have uh, created, then the file name. Here we select the one that was created from our folder. So we select the first one, uh, then it will open. Then here on mount type, we, we are using physical drive. So we want to maintain that we choose the physical only. Then here the mount method, uh, we want to, to protect everything. So we keep it the read only. Then we click on mount. So as you can see, it has created a uh, another drive. So if you check from our uh, uh, PC, so we open our PC. Uh, after mounting, you can check here to our PC. Then you can see that there's another additional drive that was created. So if you open this, it will send co this content. Then you open another drive, F, 
which is uh, this one. It says send contents as of those from local disk E. So it means that you have successfully uh, created an image. That's how you create an image. So in order to see the contents files, uh, so if you click here, then you select the physical drive as well. The next. That's, uh, so here we select the new, the new office or device that was created. So in this case, it's um, this or drive E. Then we click finish. So here, yeah, these are the, the files. You can click here to see what's inside. So as you can see down here, these are the, the images created from the document uh, description of everything. Thank you. 